is a really nice ridden black semi truck, which looks pretty nice. Nice smokestacks and you know overall nice looking truck details. You get this little hitch back here. You can take your little trailer and stick it on there, and there you go. Today, we are going to take a look at set 75365, Yavin 4, and Rebel Base. You also get this very exciting sticker sheet, which is thankfully with the instructions, so it's not that bad. Sometimes they're quite crumpled up and folded. Thanks, Lego. Here we have Gold Leader, like a very lovely, very standard Rebel pilot outfit, but it does come with that little blaster and a very nice helmet. That's about it. You know, he's a, he's a Rebel pilot, and that's what he does. Here we have R2 BHD, very famous droid from the movies. Many, many scenes with him in it, but you know, he looks nice. He's, you know... Looks like R2, but, you know, silvery and shiny. That's about it. Here we have our tiny little Y-Wing, which looks pretty nice for, you know, Y-Wing of this size. You know, get your nice little engines back here and nice little cockpit. A couple of blasters up here. You get some landing gear, I guess you can call it, which works. A little Laser turret up top, plus, you know, the standard missiles, which do what missiles do, if they fire correctly. There we go, beautiful. Let's get this nice little bit of detail back here. Little printed piece there. That's about it. You can, you know, put your pilot in there. This, this windshield doesn't really stick on, it just sort of... Just floats there and can easily just come off, but you know, it's fine. Then you can put your guy in here. You gotta put him like he's practically laying down, but you can get him in there. Gotta turn this down a little so it keeps the keeps the cockpit on there, but yeah. Not quite sure how you can See it there, but you know, just scale. Plus, you can fit your astromech back there, which it does stick out a bit. But you know, what are you gonna do? But it works. It's a nice little Y wing. Good times. You also get these little stairs that you can use to climb into the Y wing. Very important. <laughs> Here we have Red Leader. It looks pretty nice. Same standard kind of Rebel Pilot outfit. Nothing too exciting, but do get the nice little helmet prints, so that's that's nice. And a tiny blaster. Here we have General Dodonna. It looks very lovely. Very nice little kind of Rebel Officer kind of outfit. Does have some printing on the legs. In the chest, nothing really on the back. And that's about it. It does come with this trademark white stick and very nice white hair. But yeah, that's, that's about it. It looks like a general. Here we have the first bit of Yavin for you build. Do get a bit of the outside. I'm trying to get that nice little pyramid shape and a bunch of little plants growing all over it to make it look like it's been there for a while. Then you 
get a little, little place to put a blaster and there's not much going on down on the underside. You do get a little, little ladder to climb up there. Do get a sticker back here with I guess some little bit of details. A little wide wing there. Some clips to connect to the other pieces. Some more plants. Very nice rebel sticker back here. Up top where all the action happens, do get these nice chairs to sit some people in. Another sticker for the run of the trench. You know, a little coffee cup. I guess that's supposed to be like a water cooler back there. Another little sticker detail. That's about it. But you know, you can put your general in there and Put some people in here learning about the attack on the base. So yeah, that's 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 about it. It's not much to this little segment. Pretty much just a little meeting room. To put some people in a bunch of empty space. Yeah, that, that's about it. Here we have Chewbacca. It looks like the standard Chewbacca we've been seeing for a while now. You know, same face, same little silvery bandolier, same little crossbow weapon that shoots the stud, or is supposed to, which isn't working, but you know. There we go. That's it. Chewbacca. We have the second bit of Yavin for you build. Not much to this one at all. It's a bit of a, I think this is supposed to be the little opening to put your Y-Wing in. So much more connectors to connect the other pieces. Do get some stuff up here. Get a little crate. Some more of these sticker pieces on the glass panels. Do get a little, little sticker there to, so you can shoot the guns, which was a very important scene in the movie where they shot down those TIE fighters. But you know, it comes with the standard stud shooter. Seen one, seen them all, but you do you can't move them together with this little little bar they connected. So you you know you got that going for you. That's about it. Not much to this. It's pretty much just a platform with some guns. And that's that's about it. So yeah, good times. We have C three PO who. Pretty much looks like the standard C-3PO we've been getting for a while. Very nice printing on the back and the arms and on the torso and the legs. But, you know, no dual molded leg. But yeah, that's, other than that, that's it. You also get your standard R2-D2, which looks pretty nice. Same as, you know, same as always. You also get everyone's favorite Disney princess. It looks pretty nice. Just getting a nice dress piece usage. Very nice. Putting on the torso and the legs and it does come with their trademark blaster and also this very nice hair piece. So yeah, that's that's it. Princess Leia. Here we have our next piece to get old Yavin for. Very much like the first piece, just you know, in reverse and slightly different details. You get to same connector pins, you know, same kind of jungly bits and plants and angled pieces to make it look complete. Same more, more clips there to clip things and more plugs to plug things in. Same kind of ladder. Do get these nice little containers down here to put some thermal detonators and other various objects. Some more clips for clipping things. You also get a bit of a meeting room up here. With a very nice little little sticker here showing how far away the Death Star is. Which is nice. It does just sort of spin there as it's on one of those spinny pieces, but I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it does. That's about it. You know, I also get this nice little sticker there adding some more detail. So yeah, that's not much else to this. Just you know. 
little map and no more areas to stick things. Get Odie Allen for her. Here we have good old Luke Skywalker. Looks pretty nice in his little, you know, yellow jacket and brown pants. Trademark lightsaber. Does come with that very nice new metal piece, which is nice. Much better than the old, just, you know, printed on his chest version, but, you know, he looks good. He looks like Luke. You also get a very nice looking Han Solo. His, you know, standard Han Solo outfit. Gives a little blaster. Another one of those nice, very metal pieces. So yeah, that's that's it. He looks like Han and he has that cool metal. The set also came with an extra one of those little metals so he can finally give one to Chewie like he deserved all along. So yeah, there you go, Chewie. You got your metal. You also got our very nice last little top bit to the old Yavin 4. It's pretty nice, just you know, it's not too exciting, it's just a couple of slanted walls and some more leaves on there to make it look jungly. Same with the inside, is not much to it, it's just pretty much an empty place. It's supposed to look like the, you know, middle ceremony area, but it's not that big and you know, you can, I guess, you know, pretend like they're getting their medals. So yeah, that's about it. You also get this little, little dish up here, which does kind of just come out if you want to take it out, but I don't know if it's really supposed to. And it, it does rotate, so, you know, that's a, that's a play feature, and it, you know, it does this. So yeah, a little satellite dish, but I don't... I really think you're supposed to take it out, but you know, you can if you want to, it's, it's your set. So there, there you go. Beautiful. You also get one of these, you know, newer versions of the Rebel Troopers, which looks pretty nice. It does come with this trademark spear and, you know, there's little binoculars he uses in the little post thing. So yeah, that's about it. Still looks good though. You also get this very nice Rebel Crew. That's, you know, all they give her as a name. But yeah, she looks nice. There's a little, little jumpsuit, same kind of helmet, trademark wrench. You also get two of these very exciting, I guess, floor lights that, you know, you put down in the Y-Wing area. That's, that's fun. You also get one of these little, I guess, transport things that you saw driving around in the base. It's pretty nice. Not much to it. It's just a couple of pieces. You do get a little area that opens back here. I guess you can stick that wrench in there and store it away. And then do have a bit of an area up here. You can stick her in there. And then there we go. Now she can drive around and do stuff. Yeah, that, that, there you go. A little, little cart. You also get this very nice little bit of terrain which you can plug into the side of the rest of the base to make it look, you know, more jungly. You also get this very nice, I guess, tree build, which is, you know, not nothing too exciting or crazy. Just some more terrain, and you also get that little, I guess, little outpost thing that we see that one dude standing in, which does give you some space in there. You can stick your guy in there. And there's little, there's little pegs so you can be looking out, looking for trouble. And you can raise them up, give you this little slide that slides them up or back down. And you can only really sort of put them in this next higher position so you can look look out and look for trouble. Yeah, that's, that's about it. It's a tree. Good times. Now that you have all your pieces built, you can take each one and connect them together. Put the sides on this thing. Try not to break it. Sides on there. Put the 
top on. And you can plug in the bits of terrain on the side. And I think the tree is supposed to go over here. This little extra bit of dirt goes over here. There you go. That's about what you get with good old Yavin 4. You can take a look at it. the inside now, which is not that much more exciting than it you know was before, but now it's all connected, so good times. There's no pretty much nothing going on down under there. It's just pretty much a place to put your Y wing over here to make it look like you're doing stuff. You can put your little card in there and I guess these lights under there. So yeah, that's, that's about it. Overall, it's a pretty nice set. Is it worth getting for, you know, full price? Probably not. So, you know, none of the figures are that exciting and you know, the little white wing's nice, but it's not a full-sized white wing and it's not quite a good play set and not quite the best display set so if you can find it for real cheap then I'd definitely get it but I don't think I'd pay full price so yeah that's that's about it I was gonna look at some of the mech sets that came out during the same era it's pretty nice you also get some movie stills at the end of these books apparently Good old Y-Wing. Good old Han. Here's some more sets that, you know, apparently came out around at the same time. You get your little crab and little Boba and little Mando and some pirates and more ships. Good times. You also get another movie still in the same book as well. Making some plans. You also get a additional, additional, additional little glimpse at some other sets that are around at the same time. Bunch of clones and Yoda and you know, that's about it. You also get another another movie still, which is nice. You know, just a bunch of dudes doing some stuff. Good times.